Ladies and gentlemen, it's an end of an era. Z Library has been officially seized by the FBI. Gone are the days of accessing free books whenever you'd like. All because uh, Colleen Hoover, Stan, out of all people, decided to make a viral TikTok that got too much attention on the site. And a lot of people have been arguing over the last couple of days about whether this was a good or bad thing for the book community. And in this video, I'm going to be examining the good side and the bad side of it and some alternative that you can use instead of a Z library now that it's gone. So let's get to it. Let's start with the good side of Z library being gone. I mean, obviously, the first issue is that authors are no longer being robbed of their revenue and money because of these illegal reading websites and all of that. You know, authors for years have been complaining about Z Library and other websites that have been basically, you know, publishing their stuff for free, the stuff that they've worked for years on. And I think all the authors that I've seen so far, you know, on the timeline, whether on Twitter or Instagram, have been celebrating this. And I, I understand the argument, you know, you work on something very hard and you put your heart and soul into it and, you know, you take a financial risk by spending years or months, you know, not working just to make this book and then suddenly it blows up on Z library, but you're not getting anything out of it. There is no monetary gain that you're getting. And it's totally their right to be frustrated and mad about these illegal reading websites because it's their work of art and I can't blame them. But there's another side to this. I think another angle that maybe they haven't looked at. And which takes me to my second point in this, which is the bad things that are gonna come due to Z library being gone. Look, whether we like it or not, piracy will happen and it will continue to happen. And Z library being gone is not gonna make any difference to, you know, piracy when it comes to book. Because if somebody wants to find something, they'll be able to find it. But Z library provided a kind of official piracy website. Millions of people from all around the world have been using Z library for many different reasons. Yes, you do have some people who just don't want to pay, who just, you know, oh, why should I pay if I can get this for free? I mean, those type of people, I understand why they shouldn't be allowed to pirate. But also, there are millions and millions of people from different countries in the world who are not privileged like that, who don't have the accessibility that, let's say, people in Europe and people in America and Canada have. I mean, I personally have never used the library, but I've also been privileged. I've been, I've started reading when I moved to America and I've had every possible access to any book I want at whichever time. There are plenty of bookstores, plenty of thrift shops, plenty of online ways I could get it. And it's easy, but it's not like that. It's not like that for many different parts of the world. I mean, my country of Iraq, it's not easy to get books. And I'm not even talking about the money aspect of it, which is ridiculous. Because if you think about it, yes, well, you know, $15 for a book might not seem too bad to you because you live in America or England or something like that. But if you're living in India or if you're living in Iraq or something like that, you can't afford $15. $15 is way too much money. But guess what? The book is going to be the same price no matter what. In America or in India or Pakistan or Iraq, it's all going to be the same price. So how do you ask somebody who's barely making maybe, maybe $5 an hour to afford a book that is, you know, for $15? It's just not reasonable and not even to think about people who are not working obviously you have teenagers and children who don't have access you know they can't ask their parents oh give me this book or give me you know this gift for christmas and that's just not very realistic and i think these are the people who will be harmed by this when it comes to the discussion whether z library being gone is a good or bad thing for the book community you can't say that it's not a bad thing. You have millions of people now who are unable to access these books, who are now not going to be involved in these discussions that we have in the book community. And I think that is very sad and tragic because their output has been amazing and their discussions and their input 
provide us with something that you know we don't get to see much of so have losing that losing the access is just tragic in my p opinion i understand the authors are mad because they're not getting money out of z library or whatever but at the same time blame your publisher man like these are the people who are taking way too much money out of your book revenue not you know the 16 year old iraqi kid who just want to read your book because they enjoy your writing like don't focus on that because if anything the amount of publicity the amount of attention that your book is getting just by them talking about it or you know maybe posting a tiktok or you taking it to social media is much more valuable than the you know two dollars or three dollars that you get out of each book so a couple of alternative now that library is gone i don't want to give out any illegal information because who's watching but if you go to kindle you know the amazon app you'll be able to find some free books you know i've found like catcher in the rye and you know the akatar series and just plenty of like r pretty random selections i would say they're not the most up-to-date so you probably wouldn't find the newest colin hoover book or whatever but it is something and one other way that is maybe a bit unrealistic but I, I from personal experience i found if you talk to you know authors generally like, i'll say like the huge authors you know but if you're a fan of an independent author you know who's just started publishing they will probably give you a discount code or the, the book for free even like i was you know i've had conversations with many authors on twitter and whatever and they're just like straight up giving me like a code for a free book and this is amazing so maybe you could try that in order to read their newest book and i think they'll be happy to do it so let me know down in the comments what do you think do you agree with me that this will hurt the book community rather than help it or do you disagree do you think that authors work should be pirated and you stand on their side whatever you think let me know down in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did press like share and subscribe and i'll see you all around